Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. I want to welcome everyone to our live Wednesday night team or Wednesday night elite honors webinar. Uh, tonight, we want to begin to show you some things that uh, I've been working on. It's what I call the 84 day game plan. I'll come to the reason why it's 84. Well, we might as well talk about it now. We, we looked at this last week. Uh, so often you see 90 day game plans. Well, if you do 90 day game plans, that's 13 weeks and you'll never get a break. So the reason why we do an 84 day game plan is because you work hard for 12 weeks and then in that 13th week you want to reward yourself for your hard work. Uh, you want to take off from work. Uh, you might do some things just to maintain what you're doing but it's not like you're trying to build and you want to plan some things in to that off week that you're going to reward yourself with and I don't know what that looks for you. I'm going to kind of show you something that looks right for me and and as I show you this 84 day game plan tonight I want you to understand a couple things first off this is the plan of action that I'm going to implement now at the end of tonight's presentation I'm going to offer to people the opportunity for me to work with them between now and next week to show people how they can easily adapt this 84 day game plan to your own marketing strategy and I'm going to show you what exactly I'm going to be doing. Some of these parts are easy for people to do. Some of these parts are a little bit more difficult and challenging to do. Uh, but the basic, the basic framework of everything that I'm going to show you centers around social media and centers around using Facebook as the primary source of social, social media. You could easily do this on Pinterest or other platforms but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing on on uh, Facebook. Now, as we go through this, I've got some marketing statements. Seth Godin, or Seth Godin, everyone is not your customer. Or Meredith Hill, when you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. Or Andrew Davis, you can't be everything to everyone, but you can be something to someone. Basically, the three of them are saying to us is that if you try to universally market yourself to all people you're not going to be successful. What you want to do is you want to market yourself to a niche market that you resonate with. And I'm going to show you the niche market that I resonate with and what we're planning to do, at least what I'm planning to do. And I've got two other uh, cohorts on this that are working with me on this. And we've, we've identified our, our niche market and within that niche market we've identified our, sp our specific expertise. That'll make a little bit more sense as we go into this presentation. And then Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So we want to make sure that whatever the niche market that you choose to do, that you have a passion for it. Because people are going to buy your passion. And then Jay, Jay Barr, make your marketing so useful, people would pay for it. Well, what we want to do is we want to show you how to implement the strategy so that you can gain customers and business builders. And as you become an expert in this whole process of 84 day game plans, you're going to be able to uh, be able to market that to the people who join you in Synergy Worldwide so that they can see the benefit of what it can do for helping them grow their business if they're truly serious about doing this and be able to do it on a part-time basis because most people who come into Synergy Worldwide or any kind of network marketing company typically join on a part-time basis. They already have a full-time job. So how do you fit this marketing strategy, this 84-day game plan into a time frame that won't overwhelm you, will still allow you time with family, especially your wife or your spouse or your significant other or loved one, and, and at the same time have success in what you're trying to do. Now, Seth comes back and says, our job is to connect to people, to interact with them in a way that leaves them better than we found them, more able to get where, they want, where they'd like to go. That means we want to give value to people. We want to speak into people's lives and give them value. Now, even if they don't get on the Synergy procs, we still want a process that gives them value. And whether they accept that value and then implement what we have to offer them, that's completely on their, 
you know, completely dependent upon them. But the better that we give them the value and the more value that they see in what we provide to them, the more they're going to want to either get on the product or join you in the business. And then lastly, Tom Fishburne says, the best marketing doesn't feel like marketing. Basically, we want to have this strategy, this 84-day game plan. When I implement it August 1st, it's not going to feel natural to me because I'm stepping out of my comfort zone when I go to do this August 1st. I'm comfortable having people contact me. I'm taking a completely different approach because I want to ramp up my Synergy business and I want to gain more customers than I have and at the same time I also want to attract business builders. So I'm actually, because I work this Synergy Worldwide full time, I'm going to actually be doing a corresponding 84 day game plan in a completely different niche and a completely different focus. So I'm going to be running two campaigns at the same time. But I want to show you this campaign because this campaign is a campaign that can potentially resonate with everyone that's on this call tonight. Now as I go down here, what's my goal of doing this? My goal is to create 10 to 20 new leads per day that will allow you to build relationships and followers leading to sales. That's the goal of the campaign that I'm going to show you. It is designed that once I begin to get into it and, and create momentum in it, that momentum, as long as I continue on a daily basis, I'm not going to be doing this on Saturdays and Sundays. I'll respond to things on Saturdays. But my Monday through Friday work is all designed to create momentum so that the outcome, my goal, is to generate 10 to 20 new leads per day. Now that doesn't mean that's 10 to 20 customers, doesn't mean that that's 10 to 20 new distributors, but it does mean that I'm getting 10 to 20 people who want to connect with me through the process that I'm going to show you. Now what's my target market? Adults over the age of 60. And in our demographics, we even lowered it down to 55. So we're looking to speak into the lives of people who are 55 and older. And what's my ideal customer look like? For what I'm going to be focusing on, my ideal customer are men and women age 55 to 70 who are athletic and use nutritional supplements as well as alternative medicine to maintain their health. Now, just to give you an idea how large that pool is, the pond that I'm going to fish in, on Facebook alone, when you put those demographics in to the Facebook page that we've created for this marketing strategy, there are just slightly over 15 million people in the U.S. and Canada that fit that target market. That's a pretty large pool to fish in. So I'll have to do some marketing strategies to be able to um, fish in some smaller ponds first to be able to get my, oh, what's the right, to be able to get into the flow of what I'm doing so that when I start fishing into some of the bigger ponds that I've found, I'll be able to be successful in continuing to build that momentum no matter whether it's a small pond, medium-sized pond, or a large pond. I'll have my act together and I'll be able to be as effective no matter which pond I'm fishing in. <clears throat> so my marketing strategy is to eliminate heart disease and improve athletic performance. So as I fish in these different ponds that I've already identified, those are the areas that I want to speak into. How to eliminate heart disease, how to improve athletic performance, because I can guarantee you that of that 15 million people who fit my ideal customer base, many of them are going to have high blood pressure issues. Just because they're athletic doesn't mean that they're immune to high blood pressure, diabetic complications, other cardiovascular health issues. So I want to be able to resonate both with the health challenges that they have as well as helping them improve their athletic performance. Now, <clears throat> as I shared with you, I'm going to be using social media, Facebook. 
I'm not a big Facebook person. I'm having to get out of my comfort zone in this process. So I've got my personal Facebook page and then we created a Facebook page called Healthy at 60 Plus. Now before I show you those two pages, let me show you what your, pro, your perfect profile should be. Your perfect profile basically has five components to it so that when you're on Facebook, when a person lands on your Facebook page, they can find this information or see this information. So the first thing is update your profile image or banner. You want that to look very professional, just like you want your profile picture to look professional. You want to make sure that your intro information is up to date and accurate. And you want to make sure that your about section has at least the minimum of your basic contact information. <clears throat> if you're going to be using Facebook as a marketing strategy, then you need to be able to make it as easy and convenient for a person to contact you as possible. And if you're if you're unsure about that or you don't want to get your phone number out let me just tell you right now any person who has a desire to find contact information about you your phone number where you live whether you're on Facebook or not they can easily find us and find you this is an information world all your information is out there people who know how to search for it know just as much about your location your phone number most likely your email addresses if they want that information so <clears throat> if you're going to want to market you have to make it easy for people to contact you so make sure that your about section on your Facebook page is up-to-date and accurate and then edit your featured images the pictures that they first see on the left hand side so that you give them the impression of what you want them to feel about you and understand about you. Now, given that information, let me show you my personal Facebook page and then let me show you the Healthy at 60 Plus page. Because I have not done anything on my personal page to update my perfect profile, but I have taken time to make sure that the Healthy at 60 Plus page has this information already in it. So here's my personal page and as you can see on my personal page it's not very attractive. My banner is black and I just have my profile picture which could be better edited than what it currently is. Here is the Healthy at 60 Plus. Much more attractive Sorry, I can't, I, I can't blow this up anymore, but if you go to Facebook, if you go into the search bar and you search healthy at 60 plus, you'll go on that page and go ahead and click the like button and like us. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've created a banner that does a couple things. First off, we want to be able to give a nice clean look to what we're doing. We want to clearly identify who's involved in this. We want to clearly identify our mission. So we're healthy at 60 plus. I'm working with Arnold Broad, who's not on this call tonight. I, did, I think Penny's on the call tonight and myself. Arnold is marketing men's health. Penny is marketing women's health. I'm marketing athletic performance. You'll see that when we show you our website. Helping you explore natural ways to be healthy at 60 plus. And when we come down here on our about, our sh short simple statement is helping men and women 60 and older live vibrant healthy lives. And then it clicks to our website. The website that we created, this is the home page. Take back control of your health with nitric oxide therapy, healthy at 60 plus. <clears throat> I'm working with Dr. Jim Aury. So we put his picture up on the home page so that we have a doctor speaking to the people who are 60 and over. Because 
Physicians are important to people who are 60 and over. I'm not going to go through this website. You can easily go to this website on your own. But here's the page for Arnold. Health for men. And this will come up in just a little bit. Let me get the one for let me get the one for Penny going here in just a second. So as we're waiting for these pages to come up, we've got a website that is tied to this so that Penny has her own page, <clears throat> Arnold has his own page, my page is Athletic Performance, so that as we do our Facebook posting and things that we're doing, we first do it with our personal page, and then as we create relationships with people, we can then send them to our healthy at 60 plus page based upon what their health and concerns might be. So these are still waiting to come up. Uh, let me go back into my document here. We'll come back and revisit these pages in a little bit. Okay, there's free images at pixabay.com and then I use big stock photo.com which has been bought out by Shutterfly. <clears throat> we also have a YouTube channel tied to this. I'm not going to really spend much time talking about YouTube but what we're doing is we're creating a congruent social media platform Facebook and YouTube so that on our YouTube channel with our website our YouTube channel is linked to our website Healthy at 60 Plus which is also linked to our Facebook channel so we can drive traffic off of any of the videos that we develop for YouTube we can drive traffic to wherever we want to whether we want to drive traffic to our Facebook page or whether we want to drive traffic to our website <clears throat> again you can do the same thing you can have your own personal page on Facebook if you choose to do some YouTube videos then as you gain traction on YouTube you can always have your description send people to the page that you want them to as long as that channel is tied to the website so it gives you a lot more opportunity to create marketing strategies that drive traffic where you want people to go to increase your opportunity to get leads people who want to connect with you now you don't have to do the YouTube I'm going to show you a complete strategy just for Facebook now in my document these website links are there to help me not to help other people what do I mean by that it means that I want one location so that all I have to do is go in and either copy and paste or click on the link to go to the area where I need information so for example if I'm talking to a person through my Facebook strategy that has sent me a friend, re friend request to my personal page I've accepted it sent them back a, a message I'll show you this process in just a little bit and they in in the conversation that we engage in instant messaging and messaging back and forth they indicate that they have a health issue and it's in or let's say an athletic performance issue then what I can do is I can easily send them a link by copying and pasting rather than typing it in I can have my document open I can go into my document and I can copy and paste our synergyfamily dot com forward slash Dan Hammer oh, I'll take that back I can go to healthy at 60 plus dot com forward slash athletic performance and send them that link or maybe I'm in discussion with them and they've got high blood pressure issues I can easily click on the synergy library go into the library and then go to the video section of the library copy and paste the URL link for high blood pressure and then easily send that back to a person as a message on Facebook saying uh, Joan thanks for your interest in our discussion about your high blood pressure here's the link to the video that I was telling you about I absolutely believe nitric oxide therapy could benefit you watch the video and then let's talk now so I want my links in front 
The locations that I'm going to fish in are the United States and Canada. So where do I find my fishing ponds in Facebook? My goal is to have a minimum of three ponds to fish in, a maximum of five. So here are two key techniques to find people in ponds to fish in. <clears throat> if you're on Facebook, then use the term friends of my friends who like blank and are blank. So what did I do? I started with friends of my friends who like CrossFit because I know from Facebook CrossFit has over 2 million people who are over the age of 60 that identify themselves as CrossFit. So that's the place that I started. Friends of my friends who like CrossFit and are over 60 years old. That gave me some different things that showed up. I had a over 60 group from Australia. I like their page, but I'm not looking to build in Australia. So even though that page has 3,460, 346, 343,000 plus people who like that page, and they do have good discussions going on that page, although I liked it, it won't be one of the ponds that I initially fish in because I'm not looking to build in Australia. Maybe in the future, once I understand this 84-day game plan and have 84 days of experience under my belt, then the next time I do my 84-day 84 game, 84 game plan starting in November, then I'll maybe add Australia to this process and look to build something in Australia because Synergy Worldwide operates in Australia. But I found these other groups. I found starts at 60. They have almost 350,000 members. AARP, 1.5 million members. Be Fit Over 50, they have a smaller group of 1,300 members, but they have good posts. Unfortunately, they have little engagement. So whether I continue with that pond or not, we'll just have to see. For CrossFits, CrossFit community has 2.6 million members that are on Facebook. Now I just need to look at the postings to identify those that look like they're 55 and older. Fitness for real people, 3,000 members. And then there's a thing called Experience Life Mag, which does a lot of articles to the older population, 55 and older population, and they've got 136,000 members. So when I begin to do this strategy, I have a little bit more than five, but again, I'm doing this on a full-time basis. So when I go to implement my Facebook course strategies, I'll spend a little bit more time, and then I'll see which ponds are working and which ones aren't, just like a fisherman if I go into a pond and I and I fish that pond for 30 days and I get no bites then that means that the fish that are are either not there or the lure that I'm using is not working or that pond no longer has fish and I need to find a different pond so again you're not going to nail your ponds right from the beginning but you find three to five ponds to start with and then you go fishing and you use a specific Facebook course strategy and here it is. I'll give you the overview and then I'll go in detail in terms of what you're doing. You visit your three to five Facebook ponds daily. I'll be doing this Monday through Friday. Saturdays and Sundays I plan to take off because I have other things that I need to do and Answer friend requests, messages, and comments daily. Saturday, I'll most likely do that, but I doubt I'll do that on Sunday. But definitely Monday through Friday, I'm going to answer friend requests, messages, and comments. And then post to your Facebook page three to six times daily. Now, the third one is your least important one. So you need to understand the strategy, what's most important that you want to spend your time in the areas that are most important and not do the other things that will not give you the return on your time investment 
like your other two things. So number three is the least important of all your core strategies. So when I go to visit my Facebook ponds each day, I'm going to spend 30 minutes to an hour, not on each pond, but on those three to five ponds, I'm going to spend 30 minutes to an hour, and all I'm looking for are relevant posts. And then once I find a relevant post, so that means that if I see a post on my pond that I'm fishing in, and it's talking about um, the nice birthday party that they had, I don't know that person, and I'm not going to post on it. But if they talk about how they celebrated their birthday by taking a 10K uh, bicycle ride in the mountains of wherever, then I would want to make a relevant comment, a quality comment, on that person's post. Then I want to click on comments, highlight most recent comments, so that I can see all the other people who've made comments on that person's post. And I'm going to like every person's comments unless they're negative. Like, that would be a complete waste of time to spend a birthday riding on a bike for 10K. That type of comment I wouldn't want to like because I'm not looking to attract that type of person. So I'm going to, again, look for relevant posts, make a quality comment to that rel relevant post, and then look at all the comments, click on most recent comments, and like all the ones that are positive. And I'll take 30 minutes to an hour to visit all my ponds in that time frame and do that process. Now, the whole process that I'm doing in the first strategy is to connect with people. And when you like someone's comments, people will go and look at who you are. That's why you want to make sure that your Facebook... Let me go to... Uh, this, is, uh, this is Arnold's men's page. Let me get this off here, and let me go to, so if a person goes to my Healthy at 60 Plus page, that's got a nice banner to it. But I didn't friend them, or I didn't like them as Healthy at 60 Plus. I liked them as Dan Hammer. Dan Hammer's page is poor. I need to work on getting this in I need to get a good profile, good image, good message. I need to make this look very professional so that on August 1st when I implement the strategy and I like a lot of people and people then go to look at who Dan Hammer is, oh, I think I might want to friend this person. And that's the goal. As you post relevant comments into the ponds that you're fishing and like the other fish that are in that pond, you're looking to begin the process of establishing relationships where they can go and look at you and they can then make a decision, hey, Dan Hammer looks cool, or I like what Dan Hammer has on his Facebook page. I'm going to send him a friend request. Now, in that friend request process, what am I going to do? I'm not going to like everyone who sends me a friend request. Every friend request, request that I get, I'm going to go to their Facebook page and I'm going to look over their Facebook page because I've gotten friend requests from people that I have absolutely no desire to be friends with. They're either trolling for, uh, to get me to do something or they're showing me images that I just have no desire to see. So I'll make the decision whether I want to delete the friend request or accept it. If I accept the friend request, then I immediately want to send them a message. Now, there's a short version and there's a long version. 
all depend upon how much time you want to spend on this. So again, what's the amount of time that I'm doing in answering friend requests and messages and comments? 30 minutes to an hour. So my short version is name of the person. Always use their first name. Hyphen, thank you for the friend request. Do you use Facebook for social, business, and or health connections? The longer copy would be name of the person. Thank you for the friend request. I see that you're A. A is a relevant comment that shows that you actually looked at their page. So let's say that I go on to uh, Joan's page. And again, Joan's the one that said for her birthday she wrote a 10K in the mountains of Arizona. Joan, thank you for the friend request. I see that you're an avid bike rider. How long have you been doing that? And what's your longest ride that you've ever done? Oh, by the way, do you use Facebook for social business and or health connections? And there should be a question mark at the end of that. Now, does my longer copy take me longer to do? Yes. Will it, the longer copy make a greater impact when the person reads the message? Yes. Is the time spent doing that worth it? I have to tell you at this point in time, I can't give you a yes or no. I'm going to find out when I do my 84-day game plan, and I'll find out from experience whether the longer copy works better than the shorter copy. Shorter copy, all I have to do is just click copy, you know, click, drag, copy, and paste. Longer copy, I've got a little bit more work to do. All right? But again, if I can make my message relevant to the person who I'm talking to, showing them that I actually spent some time looking at their page, it's just going to increase my probability of them sending me a message back. And in that message back, I'm going to be doing a process of asking questions. In that process of asking questions and beginning to respond to them back and forth with messages is to be able to generate a phone conversation. Especially if I can show them where one of my messages leads them to a video with regards to nitric oxide therapy because that's how the message has progressed and how nitric oxide therapy could actually help Joan really improve her writing and be able to challenge herself to take, you know, break her record. You know, again, I don't know how the conversation goes, but by developing a conversation, by asking questions back to Joan, I can then begin to gain more information to see how I can help Joan. If she's got a pain point, like she's having a real time recovering from her rides, Joan, have you ever thought about nitric oxide therapy? to help improve your blood flow, to deliver more oxygen, reduce your lactic acid buildup, help you recover faster. Let me know if you've ever heard of this, question mark. So again, each conversation is going to be different. I don't know, but that's the whole process. And that's where you want to spend the bulk of your time. So if you've only got an hour to two hours a day to spend on your Synergy business, and you're trying to figure out, okay, where am I going to fit this in? Well, get up 30 minutes early in the morning. Go on to your Facebook page and do item number one. Post, you know, go into your fishing ponds 30 minutes prior to when you normally start your day. And use that time productively. And go, on your, go into your ponds, do your fishing, make your relevant posts, like all the you know recent comments and start that process every morning and then in the evening instead of watching the news and getting depressed take the 30 minutes or an hour 30 minutes prior to the news coming on and 30 minutes so 9 30 to 10 30 whatever the time frame is for you then go and answer those friend requests send messages 
answer comments or make comments. You know, again, do that process. And that way you can bookend this into your life in a way that doesn't take away from your family, yet at the same time makes your time more productive and can help you begin to create that snowball, that momentum of getting 10 to 20 contacts on a daily basis, potential leads on a daily basis. Now, the third process to this is posting on your Facebook page. You go through your news feed and first thing that you want to do is on your news feed, you want to make any relevant comments that are targeted to your marketing strategy. And then you want to like any of the most recent comments. You can post new material on your page. If you have the time to do this, post a positive thought for the day and ask a question afterwards to get people to engage. Put a favorite quote with an opinion and asking others to respond. So if you want an opinion, I guess you could put a quote from Donald Trump, right? Put valuable content on your page. Testimonials, pictures, videos. All those things require more time than what maybe a part-time person doing this has. So number three of your strategy is the least important of all your strategy except maybe to go through your news feed and make relevant comments on the items that are specific to your target market. And here's the reason why. Facebook has an algorithm. That algorithm is the more that you post to people and comments that are relevant to your marketing strategy, then that's what Facebook is going to give you similar types of people and comments on your newsfeed. So that means that if you're liking cat videos and liking people who like cat videos, then on your newsfeed, you're going to get a bunch of cat videos. And that's not going to help you build your business. So Facebook is going to show you more of who you like and comment on. So the more that you comment on the people who are in the ponds that you're fishing, liking and making comments, then what's going to happen is Facebook's going to see your habits and they're going to reinforce your habits by putting more of those types of people and comments on your news feed to make it uh, more relevant to get you to spend more time on Facebook. Now, what is our goal? Our goal is to get friends or get friend requests, develop relationships, and ideally move it to a phone call. And that's one reason why I want to market in the U.S. and Canada because my phone service takes care of both the U.S. and Canada. Now, if I start to market in other areas, then I need to go to my Sprint provider and see about a phone package that would incorporate other countries outside of those two. Again, I want to be cost effective. And this strategy that I'm showing you, there is no cost involved other than your time. There's nothing physically that you have to purchase. One of the things that I'll be doing in the month of August is I'll be actually going through this process myself. As I get better at it, I'll take this PDF and I'll continue to flesh out this PDF with short videos to help people see what I'm doing, to help them better understand what I've done, to help them see what it's creating so that as they go through this document they can see through videos how this stuff gets implemented and at the same time where do you think those videos are going to be posted? They're going to be posted on my YouTube channel. And my goal, as part of my 84-day game plan, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's part of yours, your core strategy is Facebook if you choose to do this. Or you could do the same strategy in meetup groups. Process is the same, just the methodology is slightly different. But in YouTube, I'll be doing one relevant video per week with a clear call to action 
with a link to my website address where I want them to go to on my call to action with my phone number so that they'll either call me or go to my website. And I'm going to target my videos to pain points. I'm going to keep a video idea file and then I will use keyword searches to find both topics and keywords for my titles so I can make sure that the videos that I put up on YouTube are relevant to what people are searching for so that I can use YouTube as a way to gain greater traction. Now, that's a whole different topic. What's my time frame as I shared in the beginning? 12 weeks of work starting August 1st. Then I plan to take one week off. I'll still do some to maintain my business. And one of the things that I plan to do as a reward is to find a, a great restaurant, a great show, and a great hotel to take Sherry to in downtown Chicago. And as this continues to do every quarter, well, then we'll extend what that reward is. As I build the volume and build the customer base and build the distributor base and build the income stream, then we'll make the reward a little bit more substantial each time. So, any questions on what I've shared so far? I've given you a lot of information. This has been recorded. The recording will go out on Monday with the Monday email. And next Wednesday, what I would like to do is I'd like to work with two people and help them duplicate for them their marketing strategy to show you how you can use this tool uh, and, and be able to get in place your 84-day game plan based upon your marketing strategy in the group that you want to market, the pawns that you want to market into. Again, any questions that I have from anyone on tonight's call? Dan? Yes, Nanette. This is Nanette. I have, I have my own uh, campaign that I'm working on and uh, wrapping my arms around with, so I won't be joining you on this, but I will say don't pass out of shock on this one. I actually did some graph searches on Facebook like like a year and a half ago for boomers and like actually sent little emails to folks like, you know, I, I, I can keep you young, nitric oxide. And believe it or not, with the short amount of time that I did this, I actually got individuals that were interested in asking me for friend requests. Right now, I want to stay focused with my commitment to the cold calling campaign, so I'm not going to divert my attention. However, I believe for those that want to step into social media without it seems so much so intimidating, intimidating, like YouTube, I think this is I think this is brilliant. It won't be that complicated. I think Penny will see great results of this too. That you're up. Your one page looks really great with the three of you. But I just wanted to give you that bit of information. I, I just don't think this will be hard for people to wrap their arms around. I think you'll find great success with it, actually. Yeah, a couple things, Nanette. I appreciate all your comments. And again, this is an 84-day game plan. You don't have to do my game plan. You can do what Nanette's doing. Just do it for 84 days. Make a commitment for 12 weeks on a daily consistent basis at least Monday through Friday if you want to take weekends off great take them off but you need to be consistent you need to be disciplined whatever the game plan that you're going to put in place whether it be a meetup group strategy or whether it be cold calling on the phone because you've got a list of people who are in network marketing or have been involved in network marketing and you want to tap that list Whatever the thing is that you're doing, just do it for 84 days. Give it the full commitment and, 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 and because that's the only way that you're going to create any kind of momentum and rhythm. You can't do it Monday, take off Tuesday and Wednesday, come back on Thursday. You'll never create any kind of rhythm to your business. You'll never create momentum. You've got to take a plan, put it in place do it consistently for those five days if you want to take weekends off great a lot of people do that and just get back to it on Monday and if you do that consistently you're going to begin to create momentum and traction thanks Nanette anyone else have any questions for me if you do now's the time to unmute your phone 
because I don't have anyone that's that I personally muted. So you can unmute your phone and ask. This is the time. Well, let me ask this. Can you still hear me? Hi, Dan. This is Dave. Okay. Yes. All right. So I've got uh, that. I guess I should have asked the right question. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, I drew y'all in, didn't I? Ah, yes. Now I got chats and everything. So, Penny, you were, you were first up, and then we'll go to Tammy, and then I heard David. Well, um, I want to say yes, we could hear you. Um, and I think one of the reasons that the questions aren't coming, um, I saw this this morning, and like you said, there was a lot to take in. And listening to it tonight cleared up a lot of things that I didn't even know I didn't get. And um, I'm going to be listening to the recording um, several times because this is very new to me. And um, I said we'll be talking more about this anyway. But uh, I'm very excited. I think it's having that structure that you provided and giving us a time frame and um, showing us how how to do it um, by you know giving us a time frame to work with. Um, I think that we are going to be see a success that we haven't seen before. So, so Penny, I, I want to uh, make sure that I paraphrase what you just said and Thank correct you. me if I've got it wrong. So what Penny's saying to us is Penny saw that this morning. She's seen it a second time tonight. It makes more sense the second time around. And when she watches the video replay of this, it'll make even more sense. And then, Penny, I'm going to add something that I don't think you said, but uh, as we actually do it, it'll make even more sense. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and understand, what are we building here? We're building an 84-day game plan. To run it for just 84 days? No. To learn. To get better. So that the next time that after we take that week off and the next time we set up our 84 day game plan and if we use this strategy, we've already gone through the learning curve. We'll be even more uh, effective the second time we implement this. And from our experience, as we gain distributors who may want to model the same 84 day game plan because quite frankly, there's hundreds of niche markets and hundreds of ponds to fish in with plenty of people. So it's like, you know, our organization could dominate this whole process of doing this type of thing in relationship to your marketing strategy and the core group that you're trying to resonate with. Anything else, Tammy, before we, I'm sorry, Penny, before we go to Tammy? No, that was, you did a very nice job of paraphrasing what I said. Thank you. Tammy, anything from your side? Um, yes, I could hear you, and boy, you're really good at flushing people out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, uh, I, I, I'm doing what Nanette's doing, So, but uh -huh. I think that's a great idea for Facebook, so um, we'll definitely look at that once I'm... Uh, I completed my um, my uh, cold calling campaign. Sure. And my suggestion to you and Nanette is as since you're both doing a cold calling campaign, I would touch base with each other. I mean, that's one of the things that I've got set up with Penny is on, on Wednesday mornings we do a Skype call. And so every Wednesday, middle of the week, Penny and I will have a chance to talk with each other and how's it going? And we'll be able to share challenges with each other and help each other support each other through those challenges as well as we'll be able to report successes and techniques that Penny does that I might not do that are highly effective that I can learn from Penny's experiences just like she can learn from my experiences. And, and that's why uh, I'm doing this as a team with Arnold and Penny and myself and we we came together we decided that you know we wanted to approach this market because i know synergy talks about getting younger but i'm telling you the market is there for the people who are 55 and older they don't want the health issues that they're experiencing and we have a product in prodigy plus that can benefit them 
So we're, I mean, and, there, and it's a huge market, especially here in the United States. You know, the, the boomer market is, I don't know what portion of the population, but the boomers have already, always set the trends. And, and so, you know, they're not dead yet. They're just, you know, we want to make sure that they stay along, stay, stay alive and as vibrant as long as possible. And we have the procs to help them. Anything else, Tammy, for, before I go to David? Um, sure. Um, I've actually reached out to Nanette. Matter of fact, we just exchanged some more emails today, and I am awaiting her script, and she's going to be giving that to me in a few days. So I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Nanette. You're welcome. David, anything that you would like to share? Well, first of all, Dan, I, I, I. Uh, had uh, other discussions with you before, and we've, we've touched upon this subject, and I, I just really, really like uh, the concept of the fishing in ponds uh, that uh, you are looking to, to uh, build your business on, rather than, uh, uh, we could call it mass emails or broadcast messages, where traditionally the concept has been just throw it out out there and see what sticks and hopefully what sticks will 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 be what's what you're attracted to and you'll go after it in this concept you're saying identify the specific ponds that you want to fish in and attract so rather than getting something to stick you're actually getting using a magnet and getting something to attract and I just love that uh, marketing concept uh, now that being said, you had a slide there where you were showing uh, the, the amount of time that you're looking for the individuals to uh, dedicate to this. And I, I think you said it was either 30 minutes to an hour or was it an hour to, yeah, if you could, if you could go to that page. So fishing in okay. your ponds is 30 minutes to an hour each day. It all depends upon okay. what your schedule looks like. And then answering your friend requests, messages, and comments, 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, that's, that's, that sounds very doable, Dan. So if uh, I can be included in your group, I'll be glad to join you on that. Yeah. But that sounds to me pretty exciting because obviously we, especially if we are in the same age group of the people we're trying to attract, Mm -hmm. That would be quite beneficial. I'll have to uh, coordinate my times to do that because obviously, as Nanette, we've got other things going on. But I think this is something that if you're going to start it, it's always good to work in teams and uh, kind of bounce things off each other as you progress. So, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Sure. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit more. And, you know, because uh, there's, there's a couple, you know, you – as, I've, I, as I firmly believe, you could be the key person in Synergy Worldwide who dominates the Hispanic marketplace. And, and, you know, and, there, and there's a large number of people on, in the Hispanic community that are on Facebook. And, Absolutely. And, then, and there, there's common ponds, Dan, just as there's ponds yep. in the uh, Anglo community, there's ponds in the Hispanic community. Yep. That, who knows, they may not be as as, uh, let's say, uh, marketed to or fished as much as in the Anglo market. So there That's may exactly be an opportunity right. there. But yeah, absolutely, David. You know, to me, to me what you, you have an even greater opportunity to create momentum because it, it's like, okay, there's a fishing pond and there's like, okay, 300 fishermen fishing in the pond. I, I, you know, I'm competing against 300 hooks in that pond. Whereas, for some of the areas where you might be fishing, the ponds are stocked, and there's only one or two people fishing. Right. That's what I that I was that's what I was thinking. You know, and it's uh, it might be prime. So we'll we'll talk about it, Dan. There may be some translations to do here, but uh, if we put a plan together. It should be fun to do. Yeah. That must have been Obi whistling. <laughs> Wasn't on my side. <laughs> All right. Anything else, David? No, uh, except it's exciting stuff, Dan. It's uh, you know a project that looks simple enough to do, and and I uh, look forward to working with you. Thanks, David. 
Anyone else on tonight's call? Any comments or questions before we say goodnight? Okay. Well, I thank everyone for your time and attention. Again, I have recorded this. The recording will go out in Monday's email. And next week, I'm going to show you this again, but I'm going to show you it in relationship to two people where we've adapted this strategy to their pond, their target market. And so that way you can see, you'll, you, like, like Penny, you'll see it again, but you'll also see how it works for someone else that's not Dan Hammer, but for them, what they resonate with, who they want to attract, the ponds that they want to fish in. Okay? Wonderful. Thanks, Thanks. everyone. Good night, Dan. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.